finished, Sterling. Get, get you some camera time. Come on, baby. <laughs> come on, come on. Hey, it's Jimmy Lee Lahar, the Socks Mob. And we're here with another episode of the Sock Mob. So this is our panel discussion where we talk about some very serious topics and sometimes some more lighthearted topics. And I have with me my dear friend, Jonita. Hello. And RJ. And then my guy, G. My brother from another mother. Uh-huh. <laughs> so today, we want to talk to you about something very important. Some, some, some shit I'm sick of. Okay? Well, so we want to talk about you income tax ballers. <laughs> Alright? I want to talk about you hood rich ass people who get income taxes, ball out for a month and a half. And then can't pay your rent, your lights getting cut off, gas shut off six weeks after you just got eight thousand dollars. So <laughs> let's talk about it. So who wants to go? Rhonda. I mean RJ. Damn, I done put a real name out there. <laughs> Shit. That's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> right. Well hell, look what like, she did to me in that other episode. So anyway. <laughs> Jimmy, let me just start by saying I hate tax season because I always say I don't never get no money back. Shit, I don't remember the last time. I, I just need, I just have to say I need some kids, some dependents, some other stuff. But that's all right. We're gonna take care of that. Actually, my kid 17. is off camera. Say hi. You ain't gotta get I just, me camera. I just started my business hi, hi. and we gonna get them tax. This fool gonna wave but, at the camera like I can see him. <laughs> I'm over here. So part of our live studio audience today. <laughs> but you know, for for and it, you know what, it goes back to. Um, economics mm -hmm. was so, something that is not taught to us yes. as a people and it's something we have not reached out to learn about economics at the end of the day politics religion everything is about mm -hmm. economics economic stability means that you are able to do some things people say well you know we need to start our own political party first you have to invest money in people once you invest money in people and things, then people will pay attention to you. That's why a lot of times we don't get paid a lot of attention to when it comes to stuff because people are like, you don't invest in nothing. We don't own nothing in our own communities. We don't own a house in our own communities. That's why our school sucks. It's food deserts. Mm -hmm. But if we did something with our money, when we get $8,000 back, and isn't it? just went belly up. Right. And, 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 and here, here's an example. Let's just say you got three cousins. Y'all got... 12 kids amongst y'all. So, you know, somebody working part time, but y'all getting y'all getting the grip back. Instead of, girl, let's go get our nails done, our hair done. Girl, let's go to this bank and, and find out about, you know what I'm saying, what does it take for us to be able to purchase a property? Um, these nice people will get these $8,000 checks and won't even pay their rent up for a couple months. You know, so let alone putting down a down and, payment and, and, and on you know, a building. And, and you know where? And, and you know so, I couldn't understand that for the life of me. Yeah. But I had one of my my professors tell me, you research things. Black people, you know, what I'm saying during during the time it was we had um communities, you know, the Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yeah. But before that, during slavery, at one time you might get, you know, what I'm saying your family that were slaves might have got maybe fifty six dollars for the whole year of work, or you know what little money yeah, that yeah. the man got. They were so um, beat down for somebody taking it from or the master taking it from that in their back of their mind, like, I need to spend it on whatever yeah. I want real quick, so, fast and hurry. So, you know what I'm saying? At least I feel like I get some type right. of pleasure out of it. So, like NG, said, the microwave. Let me would, you, would you say then that there's some cultural um, pathology there where um, people, you know, when you, your parents, your grandparents were not used to having stuff, so you get a little money and you <laughs> just got to spend it and all of that. Do you think there's some of that going on then? Oh, man, I think it, it definitely comes down from, you know, through the bloodline, you know, um, it's it's all in our communities. I, I mean, I, I don't want to say I know where it, you know, where it, it stems from, but it's got to be like, you know, it's in the bloodline and, um, mm -hmm. It's it, it's deep. It's deep rooted. In the yeah, bottom. because it's, when you think sad. about it, there there's always sort of uh, a little system perpetuated there where you have a mama. When you see your parents when they got their income taxes, and the first thing they did was each kid get five hundred dollars, and we do this or whatever. Then that you know, kids watch what you do, and if they saw your mo their mother do that year after year after year, then they do it. 
And then their kids do it. And then their kids do it. Exposure. What Precisely. Have, what have you been exposed to? Mm-hmm. What do you know to do? Or, what do you know not to do? Or, but, but, but there's so much technology out there that it's like, I got all this money. But, wait, but why, a technology might be intimidating to those. And when, when, when I mean technology, I mean there's a lot of information out there. Not just technology, but there's a lot of places for you to go and learn about it. That's what I'm saying. Not just like, like the, everybody the phone have that, that sort of drive to go and go. Yeah. And, 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 and you know, and, 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 okay, well, let, let me let me say this for um for like my, my nephews. I stop buying like I don't do Christmas. You know, what I'm saying I celebrate birthdays, and what I what I do is I get them um treasury bonds, U S US, US treasury bonds, mm-hmm. and you know that's gonna be around longer than that toy, them pair of Jordans. You know, what I'm saying that hat, they'll be able to say, well. Damn, my auntie, you know, cared enough to, you know, leave me something, but I also had to explain it to you. you feel me. like I didn't love you because no, I didn't buy your to boxes? <laughs> you know what? The thing is, is that you have to explain what that is because that to a child or even yeah, to exactly. sometimes a young adult. But that's, you, that's wait, if I'm not mistaken, you and some of your That's what I'm saying. This, 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 this is what I call, it's called Econ 005. And when I say, when I found out that, you know, it's, it's generational, it's deep because we don't teach our kids about economics. They're right. not teaching it in school. So the thing I did was I I get them together and you know when they visit I give them like a two dollar bill I go to the bank I get the two dollar just like you know just kind of like rare money mm-hmm. and I would tell them you know next time TT see you you know what if you got this then I'm gonna match it with whatever you got my next time my next you see me TT he want to show me two dollar bills so I gotta find some money ah. to match it. so but in but in the on the flip side that's what you do on the bank you set your money there for a little bit and it gets interest. So of course their 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 mind's not thinking of that, but they're thinking like if I save this, then I can match this and I get more. Yeah. Or if I save my money versus you know putting it on a credit card or just you know randomly spending it, I can get more. Nice. So I, and I think it's just something that we have to teach them when they yeah not when they get in you know seven eight they on their way to high school you know and it, and and if you get especially if you give kids allowance you make them earn it and then you show them you know what I'm saying make your money work for you. Well, there's a responsibility. There, there's something to show for it. And, you know, if you, the other thing is that we're popcorn, as you all talked about, as mm-hmm. we all talked about before, or we want things right here and right now, mm-hmm. but we don't talk about the value of, okay, if you want that, you need to save for it. You need to make a plan, work for it. Okay, I'm going to work X amount of weeks. By that time, I'm going to have X amount of dollars, and then I can purchase this. And then if you have, maybe you can say, if you save up half, I'll match that mm-hmm. half. You know, or things like that, where a lot of times we don't, especially our generation, because we want to make sure, oh, well, we want to give our kids. We don't want them to struggle. We don't right. want them. Mm-hmm. We want them and, to oh, have oh, no, no, no. Want them. We don't want to. We don't want our kids to look po. <laughs> That's what it is. So we but buy you, them but you know is Exactly. <laughs> but you, you know, know what? So. This actually reminds me of going back before segregation. Mm. When we had our own neighborhoods, we did have our own grocery stores. We had our own businesses in our own neighborhoods. And when we owned. No, but you I'm mean still, before integration. Before yeah, integration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, it sounds like you're explaining the segregation. I truly believe that's integration. That's you know, what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Messed the black people up. Tremendously. Well, see, we because went over there. They didn't come over here. Except yeah, but, but you know what? I, 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 and I think I've seen you make this point before, like on Facebook or somewhere. But here's my thing. We are in a black community right mm-hmm. now. We are in a segregated community. We don't own shit. We don't do shit. So that I, I don't. That's why I don't accept that because we are in. There are many, many, many black communities, and particularly in this right. Chicago. In this, in it, Chicago. still yeah. Chicago in this is one city. of the most segregated cities. It is, in the world. Yeah. but so. we yeah. still don't own the corner stores. We don't yeah. own anything. But but and and like look, wait, 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 systematic this. issue. The yeah. systematic because what I was saying on systematic issue. Even when we do get a little money, and I I can purchase that house or that vehicle, and I go to the bank. I still get charged a higher interest rate just because I'm oh, black. Or you don't get approved. Right, and, and that's yeah. because you I know. Do you know they'll give you a loan for a car, for this and that, but go and try to get a business loan. They're going to flip you around like you some type of weed whack or whatever. Why don't they give you a business loan to open up a business in your own community? Systematic. Because we're taking our $8,000 income tax return checks and buying our boyfriend a car with it. Ooh. 
that's the type of shit you see. Yes. I mean, am I right? That's the truth. We putting rims on it. We putting tin. And nobody's saying that we should not be allowed to have those things. Mm -hmm. Nobody's saying yeah. if you work hard, you should be able to get those things. I agree. Now, be time. honest. Some of these motherfuckers ain't working hard. That's Some of right. these folks got well, to well, you know what? Maybe get if you the work. babysitting check. <laughs> Hey, and then hey, get you a gotta, nine, look, you made, made $6,000 over the year and get a $9,000 return. Now, hello. Hey, hey you know I'm They know Donald truth. Trump. I, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Well, if, yeah. if you can get around them tax right. calls, I ain't mad at you. I agree. At you. But, but it does not do change the fact. The money. Exactly. That's do what so, I'm saying. But, but that goes back to, like, remember, you know, the drug dealing days. Nope. You know what I'm saying? You, okay. you know, people, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking about the money aspect yep. of it. Yep. I'm just talking about the, the, the aspects of getting the money, even when people were getting the money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Back in the 80s, you did have some drug dealers that would, you know, purchase homes and, uh, you know, little stores or whatever. But it's like you get the money and no sooner than you get it, you, you, you blow it yeah. on unnecessary stuff. Whereas even if it's illegal gains... You can take some illegal games and flip it and make it some good games. Yeah. Well, or I, I'll, games. I'll, I'm, I want to bring this back to income tax returns. Oh, well, we really that's, have But that's the right. biggest right. fraud anyway. Right. So, G, I'll give you tax, tax last tax word. Any thoughts on, I think we, we, we need to change the thought process. Um, just period. Start with the it, it starts with the thought process of the, the young folks and the young uh, the young adult parents you know what yeah. i mean mm -hmm. it's just it's it's terrible man you know it's, it's bad it's and i joke bad. and i'm you know being silly sometimes i'm silly with a straight face so i know it looked real but um you know obviously like i said there's some some cultural things at play that we don't always consider and then also um you know just not being used to having mm -hmm. stuff you know so you get something you want to spend it Money's burning your pocket and so on. Yeah, so. the feeling of being deprived, you know, the deprivation, and then all of a sudden you're like, ah, I can yeah. finally and, go. And, 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 and you want and, all the things that you weren't able to and get. There and is you want to give it to your And kids. there's an image. Yeah. There's an image that we always yeah. want to portray. So mm -hmm. poor people, when you don't have a lot of stuff, you want to dress well, you want to have the flashiest car, the flashiest this, so you can show people what you got, you know I mean, what I mean? See rich Whereas a per but Bill think Gates about it, by he has nothing to prove. Rack. We talk because about we that. know he's a millionaire. Yeah, exactly, yeah. billionaire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He has nothing to prove. So that's all it is. All right. Well, we'll wrap this one up. So thank you so much for watching. We always value your time. This has been another episode. So just make sure you check us out on the website, therealsocksnob.com, or you can search the sock snob on YouTube. Instagram is the real sock snob and like this video like it like subscribe it. Like it, like so you'll like be the first to know when we upload because we'll be uploading every few days every couple days or so all right so thanks a lot for watching all right average, oh, average American <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to put together a group that could talk about anything. So we, we get our news from Facebook. We, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's that type. From extremely serious to well. <laughs> Remember, anything that's not penetration is wrongly. So I put together a group that's made up of gay, straight, married, single, divorced, blue collar, and white collar. I wanted everybody to be represented. Hey, it's Jimmy Lee Lard, the Sock Snob. <laughs> Actually, I'm Jimmy Lee Lard, the Sock Snob. And this is the Sock Mob. Please join us every Tuesday and Thursday for new episodes by searching The Sock Mob on YouTube or log on to TheRealSockSnob.com.